Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology. And uh, we talk about how a lot of um, you know settings are double. Um, when I was showing actually the um, high performance mode and acceleration for PCs, um, one of the common questions that came quite a few times was, why is there two settings? Why is there one in control panel? Why is there in settings app? The problem on this case has to do with Windows not yet fully implementing all the features from one to the other. Sometimes because it has one flaw, uh, it is not necessarily fully implemented by the manufacturer also. So in the case of that setting of the high performance, well, yeah, you go into your settings and you do have a slider in the settings app for the performance. And you will, of course, not just have that here, but you will also have in the settings app the slider sometimes that will be part of. And, and some of you might not have the slider, by the way, here. Um, and some of you have, of course, the control panel also at the same time. Now, some of you might not see it in the settings also, because that's a comment I got quite uh, regularly. And it has to do with also another problem that is probably the biggest problem for settings, and especially with hardware. A lot of settings are controlled by the manufacturer. So the manufacturer itself will have its own way of playing with settings, and that will actually double or even triple the places where you can actually check for those settings. And that's kind of a little sad because, you know what, it means that you have to, you know, you, you will, you'll probably go crazy at Windows saying, well, Windows isn't good because I changed this or I changed that and it doesn't work. And unfortunately, it's not the problem with Windows, it's that the manufacturer decided to have its own setting and its own app. And that means you'll have to do it with the manufacturer's app. And sometimes it's not installed. So, you know, this is unfortunately the way it works sometimes. And unfortunately, that's the way that uh, manufacturers decide on their own. I always say, you know, you should leave Windows alone with its settings and let Windows decide or have the settings for controlling the hardware. Unfortunately, it makes it super complex sometimes. And, and one of the um, examples I can give is that in some machines, when you have a second screen plugged in, the control to the second screen will actually come from the computer itself. So the computer will have in Windows the multiple displays and you can detect and you can go into the advanced settings for those displays and so on and get the information. But in many graphics adapters, that is not the case. You have to install the graphics adapter on settings and then from this place, you'll have the graphic properties or options for sharing and for looking at, um, you know, a second or a third screen. So people go crazy saying, thinking Windows doesn't work well. In reality, it's the manufacturer of the graphics adapter that decided that, oh, I'm going to do it myself, which is not showing. And of course, people go into the Windows settings, have no idea that there's these, you know, these software, these controlling software that come with the device and they end up, you know, stopping or not doing what they want because it's just too complex because there's just too many ways of doing it. And uh, that is sad, but it is unfortunately one of the big problems in Windows, either by Microsoft itself not fully implementing everywhere the same features and, of course, by another example in Windows is, yeah, you do have some settings for sound in the settings app. And if you open the sound settings, you're going to go to the settings app. But I can tell you, there's a lot of stuff you don't do in here that you only do when you're in a control panel. So, you know, that's one, that's Microsoft's fault in this case. But sometimes it's a manufacturer's fault also. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.